What's going on, YouTube? Earth Power here with CVH. How's it going, everybody? And welcome to week two of season two's bracket tournament, uh, trying to find another best deck uh, using the finish meta. Today we have Lightwater Alzonius. Excited to bring this one to you all because in season one, y'all really let us hear it in the comments uh, that we weren't playing Alzonius and that we were playing Lightwater Wise Starnoid in the bracket instead. So that's it. We, we took your advice. We have built the more meta Lightwater deck and uh, brought it into season two. Based around Warlord Alzonius. Why don't you tell the people about it? Because yeah. it's in Japanese. Uh, yeah, so uh, a lot of Japanese cards here. Um, so yeah, Warlord Alzonius. Uh, five mana, 8,000 power, evolution of a gladiator. Uh, you get key cards like uh, Belix, uh, Bingle, which is a fun card to play in a deck like this. And then uh, Electro... What is it? Electro Explorer Siren. Yeah, um, that, that one's in English. That one is in English. Uh, <laughs> those are your main uh, gladiators. Those are all the gladiators, actually. Just ten or uh, nine of them. But yeah, uh, the the whole focus is is uh, Alzonius is just a giant Petrova, right? It doesn't give any any power ups, uh, but you can't target it. And you know this was, uh, I guess, Duel Master's best way uh, to to match what you guys are familiar. For those of you who played Kaijudo, you know the fun and interactive metas of a uh, keeper of walls and tricky turn up Alzonius is basically the big big brother to those things uh completely untargetable uh the only thing you can do is attack at it um and that's really your only option you cannot choose warlord Alzonius and it is a five mana eight thousand power double breaker that comes down on turn five ideally so mm -hmm. there you go very few answers to the card i mean a lot of people uh tech for it a little bit in uh, the overseas idc metas because it's widely played over there it's widely regarded as one of the probably the top two tiers of decks at least uh one of the best aggro decks just because when you look at it i mean being untargetable and applying that much pressure is almost just game winning by itself against control decks maybe second only to an alcadius and how much it just swings the game um, this deck also has Petrova, which is also very annoying for control decks, applies a reasonable amount of pressure, and it doesn't even fold to aggro decks because it has four Emerald and four Belix, and uh, a pretty healthy amount of uh, shield triggers and disruption like Unicorn Fish that can keep you in the game. So it really doesn't have any, like overtly bad matchups too much and it does have a couple matchups like uh you know Fowler Forbos and Mana Burn where Alzoni is just absolutely backbreaking. So really high ceiling yeah. power on this deck. Very much so. And, you know, the compared to our season one version where we played a uh, wise store starnoid, uh, aka <laughs> buttnoid, as the IDC meta has so uh, so kindly named it. Um, you know, we I think we just tried to jam too much into that deck, you know, before we had realized we were going to kind of make this a rolling seasons type of thing here on the channel. We just wanted to jam everything we could into a light water deck, uh, which is why starnoid had an initiate engine with Craze Valkyrie and was just uh, simply trying to do too much. You know, at the end of the day, these two colors are very strong. Uh, they're very, very tempo oriented. You've still got the unicorn fish. You've still got your ideal curves uh, with Hulkus, Magris, and, uh, you know, cards like Petrova and then all of the other bounce that comes along with that. Uh, the spot removal in Kalan, you know, this deck just has a lot of answers for a lot of things. And and just plays well on curve, off of curve, and then Alzonius is just your big beat stick that really can't be dealt with. Christian was talking about uh, things that they have to tech against in the overseas meta, and I think I came to realize this is why a lot of decks were playing uh, Fighter Duel Fang, uh, yeah. namely in the Mana Burn decks, because this deck just terrorizes Mana Burn. Alzonius comes down on five, and uh, Mana Burn just doesn't have an answer to it. Mm -hmm. There are literally zero answers to this card in Mana Burn. So, uh, Finder Duel Fang was that pseudo answer, just something that it could bounce with and just try to get ahead with before, uh, you know, they can drop another one. So, just yeah. really cool things that this deck can do, and it just makes for a really, uh, really fun tempo experience. Yeah, it's a really versatile deck, um, and uh, it is, like I said, meta, but we also copied probably the most meta version. We're playing less bingles than you usually see, uh, because we are adhering to the finish ban list with only one cranium clamp, so bingles a lot less good there. Um, but some of the flex spots are Unicorn Fish, which is normally a zero or one of. Um, I think we replaced the second bingle with another one of those. Colon. Some people maybe don't play it, some people play more. You could play a fourth surfer, you could play maybe less spiral gates or more spiral gates, less energy streams or more energy streams, maybe a fourth holy awe, that kind of thing. But really the core of the deck, like about 35 cards, I think is pretty locked in. So um, yeah. yeah, we're jamming the meta version. And you get to see how it Absolutely. does against Phantomach. Yeah. 
Very much. <laughs> Is that how we're saying that now? So Spencer corrected <laughs> me, and then I blew through it the wrong way every time we said it in the deck profile. <laughs> All right. Well, because it's mock, Phantom right? Mac, like it's a mock. Phantom, Phantom mock, Phantom Mac. Um, you know, it's up against that deck. Uh, coming up at the end of the week, that profile is to come. Uh, CVH and I are going to jump in there talk about uh Phantom Mac uh, changes here in season two. As I blow through the probably wrong pronunciation of that, but correct us down below. Either way, leave a comment. Let us know what you think of this Warlord Alzonius uh, light water version of this deck. Uh, here in season two and uh, until next leave a time like, guys leave a like leave a like yeah leave a like leave a like for god's sake we'll see you guys next time peace, peace.